the kill. Maybe they could do something. Some of the more tricky options have kind of been taken away from them. Rops' position to prevent anyone from going up the ladder, although I don't know if he really has a whole lot of stopping power with low HP. Farlig is investigating. Here's a chance. The stopping power surely is in the off position here. Yeah. It's just way out in the open. Oh, but he still goes down. Good reaction. That's actually hard to do. Now you force FaZe to make a decision. Look at Kerrigan, has to push Lobby because he knows he can be wrapped upon from above. So that position from Rops was a sticky situation. Twist already being downstairs is a bit of a dicey situation, although he's going away, so he's shifting to try and cover what Kerrigan can. Glaive drops the smoke. Gonna plant the bomb inside. And dangerous if you're on the phase side, even if you are nearby, if you just start spamming through the smoke, you could get found by the second player, so you want to be careful about that too. Two versus two now. And Astron is trying to recover this pistol round. What a win it would be if they could. Ooh, this Lave is an odd position. At, yeah, it is. He's got to be careful he doesn't get shot in the side of the head almost. Door might open behind him. First engagement, but Kerrigan ducks right under and leaves Farlig one versus two. And they're already on that defuse. Ten seconds, though. They come off it again quickly. Oh, nice shot from Kerrigan. And that's going to win them the round. I've, again, if he could have lived maybe just a little while longer, 10 seconds is a yep. long time to go. That's right, Glaive. Something was messed up with the cable. It was in your way. We and, know that. Yeah, make sure it's plugged in. It was really distracting. Three Galils picked up. Four Galils, excuse me. A Deagle on Zipix. And actually, pretty decent utility, all things considered. For a second round. So, a few, yeah. few more toys for them to play with. Smoke wall outside. That's all their smokes. Yeah, so they better get something for it. You can see already Rain is kind of jumping down below with the MP9. And they've got a couple of people shooting through up here. Astralis might have expected that there was going to be a flash pop through or something like that. And someone running through the smoke, which can definitely happen. But since there isn't, they're slowly going to make their way down. And remember, these this if this strategy is going on, like you have to get some clean wins in these fights. This would be a good first one to have. Rain's going to drop a smoke. Ooh, Glaive doesn't want to challenge. He was just trying to spam for the fallback. But that's going to delay things. Like if you're going to actually go down to the lower bomb site, even though most of the forces are actually up in lobby right now, those those fights would need to be clean because you don't have any more follow-up smokes and Molotovs to defend to help you get into the lower site itself. And what do you do now? Yeah, one flashbang. Yeah, and you're not really deep enough on the map to, to run the final distance. They got a second player down below. This could get really awkward now. Trying to get through. Nice headshot from Glaive. That's an opening right there. Twist coming in to try and bring it back, and he will. Double kill with the M4. Drops out here. A little bit of a time to take that first kill, but he's back in safety, and it's a two versus four. And the spacing was off a little bit. No ability to trade for Blame F. That was basically a one for one. Blame F came a little bit late. Now you got Twist that you know is down in the lower bomb site already with a double kill. You only have this single Molotov to protect yourself and to help you get in and get the plant. The door's open, so that's awkward. Yeah, very awkward. Guessing, hoping that that could bring them into a two versus three if they find someone with a Molotov, but they're not going to be able to. And even a bomb plant probably not going to be possible at this point in time. Blame if goes down. Sip trying to take the fight, but with only eight seconds left. He actually probably needs to find a way to die right now, or he's actually going to be in way more trouble. Oh, this is now very, very awkward. He dies maybe the last possible second there, but that was scary. No real chance once they get to that lower bomb site. FaZe played that just about perfectly, not giving up any of the critical kills that would really secure the site itself. Nice double from Twist. Config trying to bait Glaive a little bit. This is the one right here. Swing from Blame F comes a little bit late, and Rops is already in some cover. Yeah, and it even took him a minute, Rops, to maybe find the kill, so there, there could have been, could have been a, re a bit revenge. Deagles are out, three of them, and Glocks on the rest. Astralis probably going to have to concede this round without too much. But at the minimum, it's not like FaZe are getting... They're not building an enormous amount of money. Not yet. Let's see what these deagles can do. They know one's dropped down onto the roof. That's Farlick. Glaive out at red box and blame F up on Silo. Or Twinkie, if you're old school. I like that. Oh yeah, so that's an iconic name. A little bit of damage on the twist in this round. But otherwise. No real pressure on face. The moment really nicely covered out in the yard. Three people here. So, yeah, if you walk into a deal shot, maybe it changes the calculation outside. But otherwise, yeah, they're just dug in, waiting for Astralis to make their move. A lot of M4s at range here for these battles. They're getting tagged, though. Need to grab a kill. There's the first. 
Barla can't get anything done up on top of the roof, and no one's working the courage to swing and take the fight, so Astralis just getting whittled down one by one. Yeah, kind of an uneventful round, but at least it also took a long time. So, we've got that. <laughs> but the good news is that phase are up 3 and 0. So they're um they're feeling it. Oh, this grip makes me so uncomfortable every time. It hurts my fingers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the arthritis. Yeah, but it's working. He's getting the kill, so you know. Oh, At yeah. The same point, it's fun time just let him keep doing it. Yeah, you know? don't change it. Just maybe don't put the camera on it. One map away, both teams from securing a spot in the Royal Arena. Let's see what Astralis could do. They've really had already one hell of a struggling day. And they got a lot more struggles coming up later on. I know, it's so ridiculous. MP9 on Kerrigan, which... Remember how he played an Ancient, like how active he was? I feel like sometimes on a, on a good day, that's where he could be one of the most frustrating players to be up against just because he's... You know, finding crazy openings that you maybe you wouldn't expect. Even on the CT side. So we'll see if that's going to be a feature of this round. Rain worried that someone could drop down. Usually see the shadow beforehand if someone does, but... The rest of them looking to see if they can crunch the B bomb side once again. They feel like Glaven Conflict last time they ran into Twist. Maybe this time they could do a better job of it. They're going to get the opening kill like last time. And Twist isn't here. So, so far so good. That pulls Rops down. Rops instead of Twist two very mechanically gifted players but they're still in lobby yeah i mean they're applying some pressure they want i think a few more rotations and obviously rain's gonna make them bleed for it farlet goes down that's the bomb drop so now i mean information should be passed over that at least the two players downstairs don't actually have the bomb with them yeah and because sip went and took a peek against brokey i think yeah, they're running out of time as well and look at twist running up behind them this is so scary if they hear him and maybe they did i think blame if realized but twist at the same time also realizing wait a minute they're not running forward 20 seconds on the clock and twist is going to be found but rocks at the same exact moment getting another kill down below he's the only defender here although rain is just now showing up he was quick to drop even quicker than i thought and a good couple of kills low on time and in a two-on-two -two at the end, but they managed to do it. Yeah, that can be really nerve-wracking. What a good round. And yeah, I think Twist might have just taken one or two extra footsteps. Blame F caught hint of something. That was a good timing for that push into lobby, though. Good opening kill here from Config. This is the kill on Twist flanking. And yeah, I mean, Faye's in perfect position to put a stop to this. Just uh, Strauss does a great job neutralizing everything. Yeah, two-on-three, in fact. Yeah. Staying composed. Interesting. Some giggles coming out. First round on the board for Astralis early. It's three to one. That, phase, phase out of money. This would be a great reset round. And that kind of round, even though it was a, there were some hiccups along the way for Astralis, that, that seems like it was a plan that you can replicate and try for again. Oh, very awkward for Brokey. They're off on top as well soon, I think. So he's got no real estate down here. He still finds a kill, and there's no revenge yet. Oh, they're, let, they're letting him get away. I can't believe nope. it. Config tried to revenge. He tried to pop up on top of Silo, but Rain was watching from Secret Stairs. Good defense. And I, oh, jeez. Everyone from Astralis getting caught. Good aggression from FaZe. Kerrigan knows he's running out of ammunition. Farlig outside, not able to connect with Twist, and it's Zipex left in a 1v3. What a frustrating way to lose a round. But you can also see, that's why you see Glaive like going back and forth, not really committing to the fight, because he knows the only way you're really going to have that aggressive op is there's got to be some supportive element to that play, right? And yeah. he doesn't want to swing and commit to a fight and get caught by an M4. Yeah, no, you're right. It's definitely, you don't want to be that careless. But it's, um, you got to feel like when he misses the first shot, if you're on the Astralis side, you think this is it. Oh, good little pick off there. Still have 40 seconds. And with Brokey being low, maybe there is a way. Taking a little bit of a long way. A step and seeing if anyone wanted to bite on that one. <laughs> but, they, but they're not. Rops has so much time to get into whatever position he wants in the lower bomb site. I think if Zipex wants to win this, I think his only real option is to hop up the vents to the upper bomb site. Yeah, like flash your way out, hope that Brokey misses a shot, and just try and go straight for it. I feel the same way. Down here, it just doesn't seem possible any longer. Door gets kicked open, and with nine seconds, he's going to go straight for it, but he's going to be locked in here behind the side. Not even, not even waiting for it. Rops just runs straight in there. Yeah, Rops knows he's got to commit to the plant. And Zipex had to take the risk that no one was down there. Great round. That flashbang doesn't even do anything, but it's still perfect. And this is Rain swinging out to make sure Config can't trade his teammate. Good support. And, Con and Kerrigan's just like, all right, if you're going to spam the hut like that, I would happily just come take your AK-47 from you. Yeah. Thanks, bro. 
Not today. Not today. <laughs> Four to one in favor of the phase side. We've got Deagle's back. Some bloody utility actually for Astralis. Remember as well, there's a little bit of an extra extra layer to this game on the phase side of things, wanting to obviously cement a, a legacy and era, win two majors in the same year, back-to-back -back majors. True. To come back and play the showdown. The travel wouldn't necessarily have any great impact, but just that extra event right before the major, I think phase would love to avoid that at all costs. Yeah, at that point, you probably want to be focusing on something a little bit different. So yeah, that's... Either way. And how much would it suck to be one of the other teams in the showdown and be like, oh, good, we have the... Cool. Yeah, we have to play FaZe in a single elimination. Yeah, there's one European slot, and FaZe, <laughs> FaZe are hanging out. Yeah, but that's not... That's going to be tough to deal with. Drops escaping before too much pressure was applied. Rain caught looking the wrong way. Immediately shut down, although it's a good return from Twist. Just sneaking in the kill, keeping oh. things level. That smoke, maybe just a second late. No way to really know it. Still a gun outside that can be recovered. Zipix is heading for that right now. Again, got to be careful about the time if they really want to go for it here. But 35 seconds. Bomb is over by the secret stairs. Farlex got it picked up at the moment. And now down to 30 seconds. And they still are not really that much closer to a bomb side. Although that's an interesting kill. Taking down Twist, maybe. No, they're still going to be going down. They still want to see if they can do it. Oh, Sip with one more shot. But again, because the clock is so... Okay, they're going to bring it back up now. No one is on the A-bomb side, although Broke is kind of close by with the AWP. Maybe he could shut it down. Ten seconds, and they lose config. There's the run pass. They have to come off the bomb plant. It doesn't get any kills, but there's so much time being bought here. They're finally going to get that bomb planted. If he would have landed that shot, maybe that would have been the round. Now it's all on Rops, and he's going to go back downstairs. He's going to save. Wow. Yeah, there's there's no money to sustain this for a phase. So Astralis finally able to return the favor. They've lost so many of these rounds in the yes. first map on Inferno. They've lost so many on the second map of Ancient. Finally, they get one of their own. An opening kill provided, and Zipex picking up the M4 does perfect work. Three kills on him in the round. That's absolutely great. No kit on Rops, so he can make it expensive, but I can't really win the round at this point. Blame F. Yeah. Close enough by that he could stop anything weird from happening. So, a little bit of a cleanup. They lose more rifles than probably they would want, but they win the round, and that is the most important thing here. Yeah, ooh, Rob survives with one HP and is able to get the AWP. Ooh, okay. Fair play. Calculated. Yeah. You think he knew? He's been st studying. Rops would be the kind of dork that would know exactly where to stand. Yeah, why not? You got like a, you know, you've already been... On the server for like seven hours, you're like, all right, let me just check out. If I take one step to the right, it's only going to do 72 damage on the explosion. Yeah. All right. A little lifeless. We mentioned, we kind of brought it up on, in, on Inferno, which was a, a big win on the scoreline for, for FaZe. It was 16 to 9. But it didn't really feel like FaZe was playing their best game. We kind of described it as, you know, FaZe... Uh, with their B game yeah. was able to kind of handle things on Inferno. It still feels like we haven't had peak phase yet in this series. No, but we had some peak individuals, right? But yeah. the, the team as a, as a whole definitely lacking some things. Which is, I mean, a perfect recipe if you're Astralis. That's exactly what you want to be going up against today. So quick, isn't he? Two openings, one of them Kerrigan charging again the lobby. He's done it before. And again, he's successful. Twist up close with a deagle. Oh, sneaking it back on Glaive. This is one of those phase rounds again where they have almost nothing to work with. And still, they're making it an absolutely great round. You can see what's so difficult about it, though, too. I mean, outside of Kerrigan, every element of aggression has had, like, a follow-up piece behind it, right? Yeah. Like, Wait. nice shot. Farlick with the bomb. Going to drop down. Molotov to prevent anyone from chasing him, at least for the moment. He's got Twist to contend with. And, oh, peace. My God. Deuce. He's another one of those fast players. Okay. Attempt at the end, but yeah, this drop from Kerrigan is how it all gets started. So right when Astralis have carved out some part of the game here that, that really could have worked for them in, in terms of winning that last round, you get joined right back. Five to two now instead, and they're back to Tech Nine's in a single AK. Tech Nine. Thought there were going to be more. Okay. <laughs> I was excited. Yeah. Tech 9. Ah. Let's see if they have another one in them. I feel like buying a single Tech 9 is almost... Pointless? Yeah. Heretical, even. Okay. Yeah, that's a better...
Well, Deagle's gonna lead the way. AK-47 gonna come behind it. Rops might get a little bit surprised. Who that's tough to track. Tries to pre-fire, tries to recover. Oh, yeah, Brokey. I was gonna say, don't don't give up another one. <laughs> that's the bomb. Yeah, that is the bomb. That's oh, actually, no. I don't know if Farlig realized he had it, but this is gonna be really tough to manage. Flame Up is not happy about being put in this position. He has recovered the bomb, now he can drop down. It's Twist who's here. They do have smokes. They've got two smokes to block off these windows, and Glaive is gonna try to get in position to lurk. It's a good idea. A little bit late to try and, you know, sneak in there. Could have maybe caught the timing against Rain, but Twist is now close. Actually, a little bit scary, but he gets the timing right to at least turn the corner, and he'll get a second one. It looked like maybe he took a too long against Config, but... I feel like Astralis that round was really, like, uh... Wasn't really assertive with their decision-making, like, with the utility. Yeah. Thought they would kind of head down into the lower bomb site, but they kind of just stayed huddled on the ramp, maybe talking things over a little bit too long. It gave time for FaZe to be in position to start being the one to dictate the action and make the plays. One versus three for Sip here. I'm going to be jumping straight down. Please praying. nobody be at the door. Please <laughs> nobody be at the door. At least give me a shot here. When they do open it, how quick can he get? They don't have any more nades either. And they do have a kit, at least on Brokey. Walking too far away from the bomb is also could be a big mistake. So it's already lived longer than I was expecting. Spins around. That's a good one. But he's out of bullets. And the Tech 9, he can't find the shot with it. So an expensive round for FaZe. But they win it. Yeah, but it's it's okay. It's all good. That's that's You're going to be pleasantly happy with that one if you're Astralis. The plant and three kills, you're kind of setting things up for the future. But again, you got to get that win to really seal it. Oof, this was a dicey situation. Incredible shot put Astralis in a weird place to have to go recover the bomb. Glaive couldn't sneak in in time, and this is the one where it's like, all right, you're kind of, I guess, waiting for Glaive to kind of follow up and get in position, but you're given time for Twist to walk all the way through that lower bomb site and find the, the fight he wants. Ten kills on Sip right now. He's having himself a, a pretty good game, but he needs some more people from his team to start to start to show up. Four round gap building, phase with no money, even in spite of the scoreline here. So that's something that has to change. Oh, wow. Kerrigan is still alive in here. Glaive has made it through and he's going to be able to take down Twist coming through the smoke. It's still a good opening and they'll find Kerrigan as well. Oh my god, what a run through. He, he got so far in before the flash actually showed up. Three versus five now. And a ch FaZe might have to save. Well, they're going to stick around and see if they can get any kills before this bomb gets planted. Ooh, out in the open, almost, but Config's covering it. Rops from up top just peers straight down. Nobody able to punish that whatsoever. So pause button again. More time to see if Brokey and Rops can thin out some of these Astralis players. There is utility. There is a Molotov and plenty of flashbangs to work with, but Brokey with the op. Ooh, he's missing some shots in this game so far. Shots he was nailing on Ancient Inferno, and it's down to Rops in a 1v4. Yeah, doing a little bit more damage. Gonna steal the AWP and just run for it. So this, this map is an economic battle more than anything so far. Astralis just like it. constantly phase hasn't been able to build enough money to really sustain a loss. But Astralis themselves haven't been able to gain any kind of realistic and effective momentum. Three to six. And you have to imagine FaZe is going to buy in the next round, as we saw previously. This time they'll have an op, and Rops can even rebuy himself at M4, so they'll have at least two rifles. I mean, if you know that Astralis' economy is going to be busted up, then, yeah, you, you probably just want to keep the pressure on. And you have so much evidence already that you can steal these rounds away from Astralis that Certainly. you probably feel like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Oh, but maybe this op is not going to be saved at all. That's a nice kill, but scary, because he's so low on health already. They're not going to find him, though. And... Six to three. I I still can't believe that entry through through that squeak door. Yeah, Kerrigan, very interesting. He caught a flashbang at the worst possible time. Good work from Glaive. Yeah. That's a huge kill on Twist. That kind of secures the advantage in the round in the upper bomb site for, for Astralis throughout the entirety of this round. M4 and Rops off in the hands of Brokey. Two SMGs and that sees that on Kerrigan. Previously they won it with a aggressive Bait set up towards radio room. And a push with the SMG from Kerrigan and Hut. This time we see nothing of the sort. Farlug's already across the secret. Kerrigan's down there with the CZ. Rops is down there for backup as well. Little crossfire setup. Death actually might be a hard position to clear if he's up that close into the corner. I wonder. If they have needs, it's going to be easier, but there's a crossfire as well. Rops is down here. 
You might walk right into a headshot. Oh, it's a good boost, though. Are they going to be able to see him? They will. Nice kill. But the CC at least will get one in return. Still worth it for Astralis. Yeah, and this can also activate Config and Blame F. They're starting to get real frisky in their Lurk positions. However, because there's two Lurkers in this round, there's actually only two players at this lower bomb site. I don't think any of them really have worked up the courage quite yet to move into the site. Config's on the hunt. Got to be real careful here that you don't give away this kind of a lead. Config's got the right idea, and he'll defeat Twist no problem. Good timing on Blame F. And any danger in the round is evaporated for Astralis. They're going to get the bomb plant down, and so far, four people alive. Wow, this, this could done. be a huge turnaround. Yeah, it really could be. This is this is a wonderful round for Astralis. They're loving this. Money's going to build up. They finally string together two rounds in a row. For the moment, four players surviving. Although Brokey might have something to say about that. Blame F waiting for this exact push, but could be a tough angle. You know, something else that we maybe didn't even really talk that much about just because of how unlikely it's felt that they were going to be able to, to bring down FaZe is on the flip side. If Astralis do take them down, they get to defeat the, the best team in the world and qualify for the Second Royal Arena. In the world. Come on. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, and also, you know, like what a, what a momentum boost suddenly. You're like, all right. Whatever we're doing here, like, there might be problems, but... Yeah, it's it's interesting. The, the entire conversation around Astralis at the moment is, is a really, really odd one. Because for me, I know, like, going into the player break and coming out of the player break, I felt like that performance, the top four they got in Cologne, um, was a little bit of, like, an overachievement. I thought that was going to be, like, a trap performance that made them have a little bit more faith in the lineup than they should. But then, you know, you start building upon that, and that kind of changes the nature of the conversation. As, as much as it hasn't always looked good, and obviously the whole RMR thing hanging over their heads was, was a rough conversation piece around him as well yeah this would be an incredible an incredible series to win yeah i mean the problems in the lineup are really they're really obvious there's some really there's some rounds that they just can't afford to lose but yeah. outside of that there's still something to work with you know like it's a <laughs> yeah outside of the rounds they lose they they look pretty good yeah when they win rounds they so they get possible. points on the board and that's actually what we that's what you need Just USPs. Hit 250 on Brokey. And Astron is trying to be real careful. Who can blame them? Yeah, they're probably thinking there's like, you know, deagles around every corner at the moment. Yeah, so good, worried. Good find from Farlick. One player behind Aircon. It's Rops. And he dead. He did get a nice little dink onto Config. Down to 32 health, but five on three with rifles in control. Towards the upper bomb site we go. This is where all three players are. This could get a little bit spicy, perhaps. That's going to make it a little bit spicy. One more player is taken away from the upper bomb site. Oh, don't do it. They, there's not even deagles. Come on. There's no way. All right, here's the flank. That's it. That's what we needed. Twist on his own. One versus three. And he's already got two headshots to bring it into a one-on-one. -on -one. He's <laughs> looking for it. Farley is closing the door. Hiding. Oh no, it's gonna be a bomb hunt at the minimum. And he's got all the health in the world fighting against Twist, but he gets caught! Nearly already taken down, he's got that pistol out now! Oh no! It's another clutch! Twist with the quad, and he steals it back! That is so ridiculous! How is it happening, Jason, please? I have no words. I have no words for this one. Oh my god. It's just astounding. What a disgusting shot on Config. But these are the ones. These are the rounds you just can't lose. This is now two oh, low economy yeah, rounds phase as one. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I, it's after we, we just start. We just start singing a few prizes of Astralis, and that's that's just a round you can't drop. That's a P250 and four USPs. They big deal. Except it, it is a big deal, and we all know it. It is a big deal. That that round right there, along with a, a few others, could very well be what cost them the spot in the Royal Arena right now. They have to go play in the showdown instead. Groki back on that AWP. They're able to buy at a minimum here for the Astralis side. So that's, you know, at least they don't have to go straight back to saving themselves. But what a nightmare. Upper exec. Kerrigan and Twist to defend in the upper bomb site. Rain is pushed up outside. 
That could be a real difficult thing to deal with. He's here in his footsteps. He's calling once dropped in towards mini. Communication got there. Twist from on top of the hut behind the smoke, and there's Rain pouncing. Nothing going the way of Astralis. They're deleted. Nicely done. Sip one versus four here, and yeah, absolutely great call coming in from outside. That's, um... That's not bad. It's so hard if you're that player coming in through mini as well, especially when you don't have any teammates kind of streaming out just yet to be to find this guy, especially with that smoke there. Say a uh, say a prayer for Astralis. I yes. This uh, this feels like I'm really curious how the rest of this half is going to go. I, I think that I really do think that USP round is just backbreaking. <laughs> it has to be. I. I don't know if they'll get another round on the board for the rest of the half. Well, especially we look at the economy too, on top of everything else. Twist us up there at uh, 14, Rops at 11, Brokey at 11. If you go to like the round before they win that, that USP round that Twist clutches, FaZe were the ones with the frustration and heads and hands and rubbing their eyes. And sure, they were yeah. the ones kind of being like, oh my Lord, how, is we, how are we letting this go? And now it's laughter. Now it's excitement. Now it's energy. Astralis really let him off the hook. Yeah, they have. Nice little tap away from Rain. They're gonna try to get up close, but he was aware. Good read, and he doesn't reload. Brokey will help him on that one, but you know, an early reload there could have got him into trouble if Brokey hadn't been there. So two versus five, and FaZe, even, even when they were winning rounds earlier in the half, they still struggled to build a real economy, so Getting now, four people alive. Now they've got it. Great stuff. Yeah, and obviously winning a USP round will help a lot too. Yeah, it really does. Two rounds left in the half. Astral is trying to get up to five. What wouldn't you give to be, you know, a fly on the wall inside of the... The team speak. Team speak, yeah. <laughs> Just to fly with a pair of headsets on. Yeah, exactly. Just to, just to get a sense for exactly what is going on. Round number 14. And we have got FaZe with a solid five round lead. And Astralis probably, if we just forget the, the scoreboard for a minute, just probably trying to recover whatever they can, like mentally, something to get back in this game. Sips had a, a really good first half. Oh my lord, that nade is perfect. Lands right at Config's feet. Smoke in the way. It's going to start fading at some point. A lot of utility being spent at the upper bomb site. What a find. Boom. Rops can't even react. Kerrigan's going to get aggressive. This is trademark. Flame F. Ready and waiting inside door. Heard the footsteps anyways. Brokey wants to deal with him. Yeah, but also risky. Rain going to get traded right away. So this is looking good. Missed shot and twist is on his own. And this time, okay. no clutch is going to be allowed for. Nicely done, Astralis. Yeah, way to hold on. It's it's also, I I really do have to, I mean, it just goes back and forth with who you're giving props to, but for Astralis to recover from that round is wonderful. Let's see if they can get a six on the board. That would be magnificent. Config going to get dinked early. They know Rain is aggressive. He's going to fall back, cautious of all the gaps in those smokes. And Glaive's going to cross over here. Here's Rops. He hears Rops. He's ready and waiting, but can't connect the shot. Yeah, just outdone by the M4 there. The moving accuracy of that gun is still really tough to deal with sometimes. Rain. Real far back. Might be hard to check. I mean, they can obviously flash their way in there, but that also that also gives away a little bit of a tell of what's coming. Smoke up, though, in mini might make Rain a little bit uncomfortable because that means they can actually face him straight up without worrying about getting shot in the back. He's out for the fight, and he could have maybe almost won it there. Still a three versus four with Config low and Rops is low. One kill for Rain, 90 damage on a Config for Rain, and what, 58 damage on a Blame F as well. So he's done good work. Yeah. Two very softened up players for what's coming next. And Farlig's just looking for a mistake with his ADVP, hoping somebody peeks through mini. That ain't ever coming. Kerrigan's in a good position. You know, they're going to be worried about the time, too. 35 seconds, even if they're kind of close to the A bomb site, they still need... They need to be able to change their minds if they find a stack here, which there are a lot of people nearby. Ooh, what a missed shot. Kerrigan charging forward with the FAMAS. Going to be taking two kills, because, again, Config was very low from earlier. And blame F, not much that he could do. One versus four, but the problem is he has to go and find the bomb first. Doesn't have it on him, otherwise maybe he could try for some trickery, but it's so far away. So FaZe looking to take the last round of the half, and they will 10 to 15 day once again here. They only got five rounds in the first half. 
I don't know if they can recover. I don't know if they know either, but they're going to have a chance at it right here in the pistol round. It feel, I mean, throughout this series, though, they've answered the bell pretty frequently whenever a phase has thrown something in their way. So let's see if they have it in them one more time. Molotov going to be on the top of the hut. Nobody's going to be there whatsoever. However, one player is behind the vent where that Molotov will force config into some action. And he's blind. And he's burning. And he's dead. He just wanted one second for a shot, but he couldn't land it. Dooley's back here on Glaive, and he's got two kills already with it. Looking for a third, and he'll find it. Taken down Brokey. That is a solid defense and he doesn't even need to reload yet. He's still got 14 bullets left. What a luxury. Now he's just battling out in the open. And they're low on health here. Glaive gonna hunt him down. Quad kill looking for the ace, but it looks like Sips maybe gonna be the one to do it instead. Oh, he's almost got it. Finally, that reload is in. One versus three for Robs, and no bomb on his shoulder. So he's just gonna be backing out. They have that lockdown at the back of the bomb site. What a, what a lockdown for Glaive. Yeah, that's huge. He stepped up massively today. And yesterday, but this is incredible. That bomb site was on the verge of being lost before he gets this quad kill. And with all the rounds Astralis has lost, you almost feel like this is very doable for Rops. He is going to get shut down at the end of the day. Pistol round for Astralis. Now, previously in the series, when they've won the pistol round, they have not been able to convert Don't. the other two rounds. Don't say it. So let's find out. What is it, like fourth time's the charm? Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I feel like we've never seen him wins round win rounds two and three, two and three after winning the pistol. Let's it feels get it like here. if third time isn't the charm, the universe just doesn't want you to win anymore. Yeah, they right? just hate you a little bit. Yeah, but there's an org on Farlic. I like that. I think the org is a little bit underrated sometimes. Could be good to mix things up. Finding Twist. I think Twist realized he was exposed. This round, a huge advantage, although that's how it begins. No. That's how it's it not. starts. It isn't. The AUG misses its moment. It's Rain is crossed out. over to Secret. <laughs> Kerrigan's down low. Twist is taken out already. Oh. Okay. Good stuff. Still... Oh, they're moving around a lot on the map right now, and it's a three on four, so just calm down on the Astralis side. Make sure you everything is covered. It's fine if you're, if you're worried about... Your flank being open, maybe you want to call that into somebody and say, are we sure no one's here, whatever, but so many people running makes me a little bit worried. It seems like there's a good read, though. Glaive, not going to allow Rops to get in there. I think he knows both are out here as yeah. well. So he's ready and waiting for Brokey to make his play. Deagle just tucked behind the vent, so Brokey's going to hit the pause button. Maybe someone walks into him. going to allow Rain to start making a play up secret. But Config's got that covered. Yeah, and as you said, Glaive... Probably with a pretty good read right here. Oh, could have been a could have been the magic, but just the one kill. They lose two players. They'll take it. I think they're absolutely fine with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. At this point, whatever it takes to win a round like that. This scared me too. A little yeah. bit of a lineup. You never know. Maybe a tag on Karen gets a tag and his teammate takes him down. That could have been weird. Yeah, easily could have happened. Just thinking everything that can't go wrong for Astralis feels like it's always on the verge of happening. <laughs> 7 to 10 as they start coming back into this game. Three round gap, Teagles again for phase. This look, time with no armor. Look at the clustering of kills on the phase side. Everyone's kind of like right there. Somewhere between, what, 15 and 13, 12 I guess on Kerrigan, but still. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice clustering. A nice team spread. Blame F, uh, gonna, oh, he's gonna spot it out at the end. He's grabbed the last player, that's Twist, who can't make it, that's a bomb as well. They're gonna have to come back for it. And maybe that even all, yeah, that might get found as well. Config here, ready. A couple of beautiful headshots. That bomb turned out to be their undoing, just not able to ever get back out there. Drops hoping. It's <laughs> awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit. Blame just trying to tap at the timing. Uh-oh. Oh, that, <laughs> this is awkward. I think it's actually almost better that he didn't spot it and didn't feel the need to go for that kill. Hold the trigger. Okay, gonna take the clean, easy shot. My deal would have missed. <laughs> you cut the sip, was looking the other way. Wait, what? Ooh. Oh, nicely done. Drops eventually gonna be found that it's a good cleanup what, quad kill, I think, at the end for uh, for config. Yeah, but in a two on five, those two kills, are, that's, a, that's a good thing to leave with when you're in that kind of a situation. A little bit of economic damage, nothing crazy but just a nice little addition to set things up down the road. So the Astralis do it. They convert all three of the opening rounds of the half off the pistol. Two round gap. Now the real question is if they can win this next one, Astralis, then actually the, the game is open again. Yeah. They're right back if they can do it. 
So much on the line. Early nades deep into the A-bomb side, trying to put some pressure on config. But between the nade and the wallbang, he only took 15 damage. I thought that would have been actually a little bit worse. Yeah, it's so. not terrible. A lot of pressure applied to that upper bomb site, perhaps just setting up later on in this half for some kind of an upper bust, upper exec. Yeah, you throw that pattern of grenades a couple of times without following through, and yep. maybe those A players start to think, okay, it's fine, it's no problem. And then, you know, third or fourth time, they show up. Blame F aggressive at red box. This might catch them off guard, having someone aggressive in this position this late in the round. Kind of like the boy cried wolf, but in return. If the boy was on the wolf's side, Jason. Now that's a story. Yeah. We, Rain never, <laughs> we never heard that half. <laughs> Kerrigan's gone down already, but Rain's out here trying to work uh, something. Almost finding, but the flashbang is pretty decent. Blame if I wonder if he actually saw it. I think maybe he does. Nades coming out, and Rain trying to save himself, but instead gets caught. Good opening. Two kills, and none of them returned by FaZe. And then the lobby portion of this hit from FaZe has been just completely stalled out by Utility, so they've been sitting in here twiddling their thumbs. You gotta deal with Glaive. He's on top of the hut. Tough position to clear out. Brokey over at the vent. Glaive's gonna pop up. Nice easy headshot from him, and even one more as he drops down behind rocks. There it is. Astralis catching fire to start the second half. That angle looking straight up and having to track someone down as they fall down must be one of the most impossible ones to do. It's kind of, that's break your wrist. Yeah, I don't even know how that's possible. But yeah, nice round. Astralis, they're right back 9 to 10. They win this round. They get to keep four rifles alive at the end. It's great. I love everything about it. Great forearms. It's got that good. It's got a nice sheen on it. Yeah, and he's he's uh, he's glistening. Good support, you know. Make sure his sure. wrist isn't being put under any pressure or anything. Important. This time we have tech nines. Four of them, in fact. Flashbangs as well to follow it up, although already shut down slowly. That's fine. Good call from Zipex to get out of that danger. Yeah. Surviving down low. He's got a teammate there with him. Blame F is already down secret. Farleg loves that fight. We'll take the head clean off Kerrigan. So Twist is left to lurk in ramp room, hoping somebody's going to come up the ramp or come from underneath heaven. His teammates are going to come back and join up with him from lobby. Rops and Brokey. No utility on the three of them. They do at least have control of the bomb. But not a whole lot of wind conditions that you can see at the moment for FaZe. I think there's going to be a timeout after this round. FaZe is going to want to talk things over early on this offensive half. Yeah, you have to assume so. Money's starting to look pretty decent as well on the Astralis side. And the fact that you know, if, if they take the ramp room, but they make it like a three on four, so they at least get one kill, maybe that puts some more pressure on the Astralis defense and they can they can find something else. Good headshot from Brokey. It's a start. The twist going to get caught off. Scary reload, I've got to say. Yeah. Two versus four. Oh, nice opening of the door, but with the bomb plant, almost just to save the M4. I know there's nothing to do here, surely. Maybe you can make it expensive, but you're not going to be able to stop them from getting the defuse with this little health. Gonna be blowing open the door to avoid any tricks. So if you want to fight here, then you're gonna have to really go for it. And he's gonna get found by Blame F. So yeah, still pretty, pretty something. Bomb plant and two kills. It's not that bad. Yeah, limiting what they can. And we're all tied up at ten. You're getting close now, Astralis. Tied up. Ooh. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Another shining reference, eh? <laughs> Two in one day. So my mind, I guess. Yeah. You know, in the book, uh, the the labyrinth that's outside of the hotel uh -huh. has like uh, these labyrinth creatures, like minotaurs that move around as you move inside. It's great. Cool. Worth reading. It's really cool. They didn't put it in the movie for some reason, but maybe they didn't have the technology. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Enough about minotaurs. Back to phase at Astralis. Back to the fact, Jason, that one of these teams, well, both these teams are six rounds from making the Royal Arena. That is close enough that you can smell it at this point. Certainly. And but Estrada's have won five in a row. And boy, would they love to be there after the year that they've had. Ooh. Good pickoff. Good patience from Brokey. Up there for some time. Blame F gave him the exact look he wanted. Man advantage for FaZe. They're going to start working the way. Ooh, gap in the smoke, though. Rain goes down for free. That's Glaive. And then he's going to jump in towards safety. That's sketchy. Door's blown open. And Zipix couldn't line up the windows. 
Nope, smoke just made it a little bit awkward, so unfortunate. Very forward position with the AWP and Farlick, and Glaive wanted to use that to move up, but this is being red. They see it coming. Robs is watching the one side, and crossfire diagonally going across the other side. I think it's Kerrigan up there ready and waiting. Oh, they're going to be found. Kerrigan is there for the kill on Config, and now it's fallen apart here. Two versus four, and... Yeah, wide swing for Rops. Farley not quick enough for that one, and Sip in a one versus four instead. 30 seconds, and yeah, he's running them down, but I don't know if this is ever going to get close to happening. Bomb is planted, and they know where he is. He's still going to go for it. Feels like maybe he could. Gun barrel showing. he will force out a couple of shots there. Trying to see if he can use the nade to help him out, but it's not going to work. I don't know where that communication went of the of the position of, of the player on top of the, uh, the blacktop, but Config not even clearing it at all through the ladder hole. Coming out vents, he was just being overly aggressive, so maybe they didn't think he would stick around there, but, you know, I think I think Astralis is actually in a decent enough position on this lobby crunch to actually bring this round back into their favor. And not being able to find Rops up top with a right. big round for Astralis. This is like the difference between Astralis trying to recover for the rest of this half or or just, you know, sustaining and moving forward. Twist, he's got the right idea. Glaive already tacked up a tiny bit. And AK versus MP9, you'd have to assume that Twist is going to be coming out on top of that one. Brokey taking a little bit of a lead on the scoreboard. Oh, what a lineup. Back-to-back -back rounds, Phase starts with the opening kill. Broke you with the off last round, this time twist with the spam. Frustrating, no doubt. I was going to say Glaive is tied with Brokey for 18 kills, but now he's out of the round, so a chance for Brokey to take the lead. And what do you do? This, I feel like, is the real problem if you're on the CT side of Nuke, is losing a player, it opens up a lot of different spaces. You have to start to move people around a little bit. Well, Blame F, at least, that the wall of smokes actually allows him to move out of his position as well. Ooh, good spam, good damage, done! Oh, almost found, Config was almost able to get rain. Can That's he get crazy. any more damage? Yeah, close to being a kill out there, which would have been a nice way to get back into a 4 on 4. Farlig there with a shot to bring down Kerrigan. No one's down low, nobody's shifted at all. Everyone's right. up top. No, because they're gonna go crunch the lobby, which they might find robbed, but then, so what, if the bomb is gonna be planted? That's still a huge problem, and instead, Robs is gonna go find them. Nearly could have lined up a couple of kills. That gives them time to actually come in for the retake, though, if they actually want to go for it, but this is huge. Astralis could lose everything here. In some ways, this is exactly what FaZe want. And keep your eye on that one diffuse kid on config. If he dies in the wrong position, it can absolutely determine the round. Nade, not that much damage, but softened up Arena a little bit. Nice grenade in return, though, and they're quick with it here. Straight headshot from Rain. Farlik gets one more. A double in the round for him, and Rain is able to trade it. He spins around and sprays down another two players, leaving one alive for Blame for uh, Astralis. No he didn't Just pick up the blame. No, he didn't. It's lost back there somehow. <laughs> oh, no. And he's so low. He has to just run for it. Farlig was in the way of allowing Blame F to go for that trade kill onto Rain. That's why it took so long. That's why Rain was able to double up, and that's exactly what Astralis wanted. A round within Astralis's reach to go for that retake, but they have all the advantages of the bomb being planted in that lower site. That's brutal. Finding rocks was the best thing that could have happened for FaZe. So this is the spin around kill. And look, Blame F, Blame F is wishing he could get by. That's config with the, with the kit. That's why Blame F can't pick it up, right? It's on the, we, we can, it's on the other but... side, yeah. He doesn't but have that much time. No, not enough time to consider it and readjust. And the money, like you mentioned, is gone. They're not, not deep enough. 12 to 10, 23rd round, man. Another piece of adversity laid out in front of Astralis in this in this in this series. If there's any justice in the universe, Astralis will win this round with just, you know, some pistols. Yeah, but we know there's not. Yeah. That's true. Spoilers. If you're not, if you don't know, we're gonna rip that band-aid off right now. <laughs> There's no Santa Claus either. Jeez. Well, Kerrigan is um, forward at least with the with an AK. Interesting thing to note too in that previous round, since we've since we've got some time in a round that seems pretty much done. Uh, off the rotation of of them of. Astralis kind of heading towards the lower bombsite before Astralis really realized. Config had a decision whether they wanted to shift Zipix downstairs and Config yeah. could have gone towards ramp room. Instead, they called for the lobby crunch. So he went up the ladder and joined them for the lobby crunch from that angle, which didn't allow anyone from, to get down lower to actually defend. That's one of the that's one of the rotational choices you have in that moment. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's a, it's a really hard call to make. And you could see it almost felt like he was shuffling between the two options. Yeah, and that shuffle in the previous round almost gave Rob some huge opening. I mean, that, that even could have been another way for them to lose a round. Nice return. They at least get a couple of, uh, of rifles that they could maybe run away with here, although one of them kind of stolen back. Bomb planted already, so the round is won by FaZe here. It's a 13 to 10 scoreline just about. Question is if Astralis can yeah, salvage, scavenge for some, some, some guns. That would be helpful, but they cannot. Roki will not allow it. Triple for him and 22 kills. Yeah, he's taken that advantage. He's taken over the kill lead in the game. As you mentioned, tied with Config just a few rounds ago. Now he's firmly in control. For whatever that matters to an individual. And FaZe firmly in control this game. 13 to 10. Yeah, they're getting there. Three more rounds, and they will be in the arena. Great for them. Tough news for Astralis, and but maybe also great news for a bunch of teams in the showdown who might be thinking, oh, God, no. Yeah, please. No phase. No phase. <laughs> Don't do this to us. Here we go. Some early nades. Smoke there might keep Roki a little bit wary that someone could be close, but doesn't seem like it's really bothering him all that much. Config will take down Rops for the smoke. That's a good headshot to begin the round with. Astralis needs some momentum back. They won five in a row, and now they've just lost three in a row. So there's, there's, there's a swing back here for FaZe. Started to get control in the second half. And in the previous two gun rounds, FaZe was able to open up with the with the entry frag, with the opening kill to play five on four. Astralis finally at least prevent that from happening, so they get to play with the advantage. But FaZe have complete control of outside. Lame F. Gotta be careful. Looks into the shot. Roki wants to readjust Farley. That's a very tricky position to clear if you're coming in from this side. Although, if there's a third member of the FaZe clan that actually walks out here, then maybe they could find another angle on him, but I doubt they're going to be able to check it. Yeah, Rain goes straight down, and Broki, he can't recover it. I'm not. It might even be hard for Rain to call out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, with the silencer, they have no idea what his position was, so Broki was actually looking towards CT spawn, thinking he was going to be at the spawn boxes. Tough position to be able to get your attention there quick enough. Three on four. Here comes the exact through mini towards the upper bomb site. Farlig and Glaive to defend. Early damage. They still haven't seen the position of Glaive. And actually coming up the vents might prevent anything from working out. Config is not letting them have an escape route. It's just Brokey tucked into the vent behind the smoke. Yeah, Brokey. <laughs> He's wondering what's going on inside of the smoke. He's going to find no, one, no. finds a second. Absolutely not. He's already done this so many times, and now he's looking for an ace clutch instead. It should be impossible, but we said that many, many times already. Goes straight for the bomb plot. They open the door in front. Oh, going to be careful. He gets one more. Surely not. On the other side, Glaive is ready and waiting. Brokey, <laughs> he's toying with him. Oh, and oh my God, Brokey, you must be kidding me. Rain even knocks his monitor over. How much can Astralis take? Surely that's the end of him. Surely that's it. Yeah, wipe your brow. There's no, this should be impossible. How is he given this? He's ace clutched Astralis right out of the tournament. <laughs> Just get him out. It's done. Oh, that's an experience that uh, nobody wants to have. You don't recover from that. Well, Rain's taking a dive with a Mac 10. Config, trying to make up for it. That's nice, little push. Gonna get one in return at the very least. And Rain and Twist are low on health, so SMGs doing the best that they can. Or oh, the Config's gonna get caught. I don't know if they really knew that someone was there. Nice, uh, up close. Rob's not checking behind him. They're down below though, and they've got the bomb with them. So a two on three should be a chance for a bomb plant here for Broki. Yeah, no one interrupting him. I don't know what happened in this round. I'm still thinking about the clutch. Yeah, I've. I have no clue. I'm gonna take a moment to get my brain back online too. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, there's a chance here. Rain is low. Twist is extremely low. They don't have a kit. Molotov on Twist position would pretty much kill him. But they don't get it off. Yeah. And you can't track that kind of a drive-by. Another triple for Brokey. He's up to 30 kills now. Still in regulation. I don't if he only had four, it's worth it. <laughs> or five, I guess he had in that round. Yeah. So absurd, isn't it? I actually, yeah. It's, you just see it happening. You see it building. If you get one of these, in a, one of the clutches that Brogy's had in a tournament, that's really impressive. That's really something to think about. He's at two in this series. <laughs> I know. That's so stupid, isn't it? <laughs> 
Round number 26 and a 15 to 10 scoreline phase one round away from the Royal Arena. Can't say they don't deserve it the way they've been playing. 31 kills on Brokey. He's not satisfied yet. Hungry for more. Conflict's down there, and he's finally going to put an end to him in the round. But more people are coming up behind him. It's a pretty decent setup. A little bit of a double for Config. And it's back into a three-on-three. -three. But Rops has taken over the A site. Yeah, he's already in here. He's already chilling, calling his teammates <laughs> over. Kerrigan. Ooh, twist. With the bomb. Over towards Secret. Maybe thought he was going to get caught. It looked like Lave was near enough behind that maybe he could catch Twist. But now he's on the site. Kerrigan's still the one with the bomb. And he's quite far away. That's a minute, though, so they... They maybe just call a freeze. See what happens. I don't think anyone knows really what, what to do in this round to, to avert danger. They've kind of lost information of where everyone's positioned on both teams. Going to be really hard for Kerrigan to cross against a scout and an SMG. Zipix is just going by timing. But Glaive's ready to pounce behind credit. Or behind blue box, excuse me. Yeah, this is... If, if someone else had the bomb, Kerrigan's position, even in an afterplant, would be amazing. But... How do they get the bomb back from here? 30 seconds. He's probably starting to wonder, well, no one's moving. Where are they? If he walks out here and loses the bomb, this can actually be a little bit of a recovery for Astralis, perhaps. 23 seconds, and Rops is coming in. Oh, what a jump down! No. The superhero move at the end to get rid of Sip. <laughs> Absolutely cruel punishment here for FaZe. And Astralis now down to a single man. Blame if in a one versus three, they're already dead to see him coming. He's going to take down Kerrigan, but he's been found out. No kit, no grenades. Has to walk into a crossfire. Has to volunteer himself looking for the opening. Gets shot in the back of the...